Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Let me just get a few things out of the way. If you are against birth control, check out this video right now. If you are someone who is against pro-choice, check out this video too. If you are pro-Trump, check out this video right now. Just make sure. I don't want to waste your time. A week ago today, I went and had an IUD inserted into my uterus. And an IUD stands for an intrauterine device. And so the reason I got this is because Donald Trump is president. No, that really is the reason. I went to see my nurse practitioner about three weeks ago because it was time for me to have my birth control refilled. So I've been taking birth control pills since I was 18, but it's not because I was trying to avoid being pregnant. I just suffer from really terrible, debilitating cramps. It had gotten to a point when I was in high school that I physically would be nauseous. I would be lightheaded. I would want to throw up. I would lay on my bathroom floor when I was in high school because it was cold and my cramps were so bad. So that's that's really the reason I kept it up. But as I've gotten old, I'm 28 years old, starting a family is something that I want to do, but I'm not ready to do it right now, especially under the current administration. I can't. I'm not. I won't. And so I talked to my doctor and he was like, well, have you ever thought about alternatives to birth control? He wanted to do the arm implantation. I was like, no, thank you. I'm good on that one. So then he said, what about an IUD? And I told him that I didn't think I could get an IUD because I had never had children. And he was like, well, that's the whole point is to keep you from having kids. He was like, there's nothing that says that you can't have one because you've never had a child. He said, in some cases, it is preferred for women to have had a child first. So he was like, actually... It'll get you through Trump. And he said that, not me. I didn't even say anything about the current president. And this is a white man who is my nurse practitioner. And he was like, it'll get you through Trump. It lasts five years. You can get through Trump with that. And I was like, my God, my nurse practitioner knows what's really going on in the world. And he is here with me. So I told him, I said, could you put a rush on it? Can we get it done tomorrow? And so about two weeks later, last Friday, I went in and got it. So we decided to go with the Mirena. And the reason we went with the Mirena was because it's a five-year hormonal um, IUD. And it will help reduce my cramps, my flow, and it could all together just stop your period. The copper one lasts for 10 years. And it doesn't have any hormones in it. And it can actually, some people have said that it has caused them to have, you know, even worse cramps and heavier flow than they normally do. So I was like, no, ma'am, I don't want that. I also don't need it for 10 years. That just seems like a really long time. So, I mean, if you know anything about IUDs, you can have them taken out whenever you want. So just because it's in for five years doesn't mean that I got to keep it in for five years. I can take it out in two or three years if I'm ready to have a child and I can get pregnant just like that. And so before I had the procedure done, I went online because Google is a great thing. It's plentiful. It has a lot of knowledge. You know, alternative facts there. Okay. So I went and I Googled, you know, IUD insertion and what to expect. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm about to scare you because nobody scared me and I wish I would have been scared or told what I should really expect. So when I went in there... I was ready. All these women were like, oh, I went. It didn't hurt. Or there was minimal pain. I cramped a little bit. No big deal. Yada, yada, yada. It hurt. It hurt like hell. Like my life, I went into perspective land there. And I would much rather tell you that my situation hurt. And then if you decide to go get it, you go in like, well, Marilyn said hers was really painful. But if you go in with the thoughts that it's going to be painful and then you get in there and it's a breeze, then at least you weren't stressed out. Me, on the other hand, I'm thinking it's like a sunny day at the beach. It's like sticking a tampon up there. And I get up there and I damn near just, I almost told God to take me. I'm not going to lie to you. 
I'm not trying to scare you. Yes, I am. I am trying to scare you, but I'm not trying to scare you against getting it because I think that if you want to be in control of your reproductive system and you want to be able to have kids when you want to or choose not to have them because you're doing your thing, then get you one. Last Friday, I get off work. I go to the health center on campus and when I get there, they're like, okay, come on, Marilyn, let's take you back. The student, because this, this is on campus, is part of the student nursing program. The student has me four ibuprofens. And I was like, okay. Now, I had read that some people do take pain pills before. And some people can even get like a local anesthesia to block the pain. That wasn't offered to me. I took the four ibuprofen, right? And then we go in the room, everything is ready and set up. My nurse practitioner comes in, he like, you ready? I'm like, yeah, I mean, let's get this thing done. I get ready, I'm up there. His superior comes up to my head and she starts rubbing my hand. And she's like, I just want you to think positive thoughts. I just want you to just feel good about this because you are doing something really great and you can do this. And I'm like, girl, what's going on? And she real calm, like she probably is like a yogi or doula in her life. She probably smoked weed. Who knows? But I was like, I feel really calm right now. I'm scared. She's like, so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna put the um, we're gonna put the tire iron. <laughs> we're gonna put the thing that opens your vagina up. Yes, y'all. Um, so we're gonna put the speculum. That's what it's called. We're gonna put the speculum in there. We're gonna assess everything. We're gonna find the uterus, and then we're gonna we're gonna put it in there. And I'm like, okay. They get everything situated. I'm open. I'm cranked as wide as I guess I can be cranked. And my uterus is like turned the wrong way. Now, I've had this told to me before that is actually like upside down. So they had to kind of like get it to turn where they needed it to be. So then they're like, okay, well, we're going to start inserting it. You're going to feel some pressure. There's going to be some cramping. But if you don't relax, your uterus is not going to work with us. So they're explaining to me that there are two like uterine walls or no, two uterine muscles that they have to get through in order to insert the, the IUD in the uterus. And they're like, usually the first one is really easy to get through. It's that second one that is a little harder to get to relax. It contracts so quickly. So they're like, you just got to relax. And so the student is talking to me and I started to feel pressure. And they were like, this second um, muscle just won't relax, Marilyn. So now the student is asking me all types of random questions. What do you like to do in your free time? I was like, girl, YouTube. Well, what's your YouTube channel about? So I'm trying to tell her about my YouTube channel and I literally cannot speak. There are no words. I can't find words. The words are not here. I am focused on the pain. So I'm wincing and I'm breathing. I feel like I'm in labor. I'm like, <sighs> I'm hitting them, right? And she's like, okay, so then like, what do you teach? And I'm like, I teach public speaking. She's like, I need to do more of that. And I told her, I was like, I know what you're trying to do right now, girl. I said, but it's not working because this hurts. So the doctors and the nurse practitioner are like, okay, Marilyn, we're almost there. And, f and you can... I can feel this, and this is the best hand motion I got for y'all. I can feel this pressure, and it's pushing, and it's pushing, and pushing, and finally, it goes away, because it's in. And my stomach started to hurt so badly. They take the speculum out, or before they do that, they cut the strings of the, the IUD, because it has these really long, like, nylon strings, and he's like, okay, I want you to feel these strings so that you can know what you're feeling for. I can barely see the strings. My life don't work no more. And I'm, I'm, I can't tell you what it feel like, honestly, because I can't remember. And so when they took the speculum out, I would just lay there. And I could feel myself sweating. I was sweating under my neck. I was sweating all in my face. And it was like a cold sweat. I felt nauseous. I felt faint. I was sick. And so the, my nurse practitioner is like superior. She came over and she started fanning me. She was like, you are as white as me. Everybody in the room is white except for me. She's like, you are so pale right now. And I'm like, 
I just feel really sick. And she's like, it's okay. This is just how your body is responding to pain. And I literally laid there for about 30, 40 minutes until I felt fine. I was very nauseous. I felt like I was going to pass out at any moment. And I just had to talk myself out of it. And I literally laid there and was like, this is what I used to feel like before I started taking birth control. And then when I started to feel better, I sat up, I put my clothes on, and I just kind of sat in a chair until I was sure because I had to drive myself home. And when you go online, it says that maybe you should have somebody drive you home. But, you know, just not thinking it would be so bad. And I was able to get home and I had cramps for the rest of the day. And I took ibuprofen and Tylenol and things like that. So it, I was able to get through it. After about day three, I started to have fewer cramps. They were like light. They didn't hurt as bad. I didn't have any breakthrough bleeding. As far as I know, it's still up there. I was honestly scared to use the bathroom. I was scared to take a number two. I Googled it before. I'm not going to lie to y'all because I was super paranoid about having it up there. It's been seven days. I feel fine. It's up there. I still have these very faint cramps. And I know it's only been there for seven days, so my body is getting used to it still. But I'm telling you my experience because... I don't want you to think it's not going to hurt and then it get you get in there and it does hurt a little bit. It has changed my perspective on childbirth because if a little bitty, I'm going to put a picture of it right here. If a little bitty contraption such as this hurts to go in, can you imagine a whole body coming out of you? She ain't never had kids before, but that hurt. So I understand now why they're more inclined to give it to women who've had children because they know what that kind of pain feels like. So I always said that I was going to have children in a natural way. I didn't want an epidural. I didn't want none of that. Here's what I need you to do. If you know me and I'm having a child, I need you to just like punch me in the face, knock me out, and then tell them to give me the epidural because I'm going to need it. Anybody who's had a child naturally, you the goat. Because an IUD damn it took me out. God could have had me. I was ready to go. I'm going up beyond. A, I was ready to go. I'm not trying to dissuade you from getting an IUD. If you want one, get you one. You don't have to worry about nothing for five years or ten years, depending on which one you get. But do be prepared that it is going to be uncomfortable. It is going to hurt. You're going to have a reaction to it. But after a couple hours, after a day or two, you start to feel better. And if 10 or 15 minutes of that kind of agony is going to keep me for five years of being stressed out about my body and whether or not I'm going to have a child and who can tell me I can or can't, then I'm doing it. So if you have had an IUD, leave a comment below. Was your situation as painful as mine? Were you in there like, girl, this is a breeze? Or did you also have issues if you don't have an IUD have you thought about getting one um are you going to get one why did you get one let's just have a conversation and help any other woman out there who is thinking about getting one because she ain't feeling what Donald Trump is talking about so until next time y'all and I will talk to you later.